Now Audacity is a really useful free piece of audio software with some great features, but there's no denying that there are a few features that some of the other DAWs have um, that we could really benefit from. So in this video, I'm gonna go over six of the most wanted features to be added to Audacity. Hey everyone, Joe here. So these features that I'm gonna be talking about are six features that I think would be really great to have in Audacity. I'm hoping to see these in the future. I know it's easier said than done. It's all open source, it's free. It does take them a little bit longer to come out with these with these new features and upgrades. But since Audacity was recently acquired by Muse Group, hopefully we'll be seeing a bit, a bit more of a, a push to to compete with those other DAWs while keeping things simple and fast because that's the beauty of Audacity. That's why I still use it today because it's so fast and it's so simple. So the things that I'm gonna be talking about do keep in line with that simplicity. So first up, it's non-destructive editing and plugins. When you edit in Audacity, when you delete something, when you move something about, the only way to undo it is by using the undo function. So control Z or clicking undo. And this can be a problem because if you want to undo something you did 10 actions ago, you have to undo all those 10 actions to get to it. Um, so yeah, non-destructive editing would be fantastic. A way that you could sort of separate audio clips and move them about independently of each other and then seeing where those edits have been made uh, just like you would in any other door and being able to move them around later on as well. And then also with plugins, when you apply uh, signal processing to a piece of audio, it prints it on the audio. And then again, if you want to undo that later on, you'd have to go through all your uh, later work to get rid of it. Or even just being able to see where you've made that edit would be great if it just marked it in a different color or something. And just, just so you can sort of remember what you've done. And then number two would be an option to have the old save file structure. Because in Audacity 3.0.0 onwards, it saves all the audio files within that Audacity project file. And this can be really useful. It can make it more easy to move the files around and, and to not break your session if different files go into different folders. Um, but as, as a commenter mentioned in, in my Audacity 3.0.0 video, it would be great to have the to, to be able to use that um, that previous method of saving where you've got the audio files separate so that you can easily move them to a different session or, or to a different door. So just having the option to swap between those two save file structures will be fantastic. And number three, it's better plugins. Uh, Real-time plugins will be fantastic where you can, when you're playing a piece of audio, you can see how that plugin is affecting the signal before printing. I know that's not really possible right now with, with the Nyquist uh, format of plugins that, that Audacity uses. Um, but even just some, some little improvements like uh, just better interfaces. For example, that, that filter curve in Audacity is a little bit clunky having to click on uh, adding all these little little points. It'd be nice if we could just drag things around more smoothly. I may have some presets that you can save, just nicer interfaces rather than just your typical sliders that you'll find in, in the current Audacity plugins. By the way, if you're learning Audacity and, and you need any help with setting it up, recording, mixing, editing, mastering, I've got a full free 21 video course. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a full course right here on YouTube that will teach you uh, right from the basics to the more intermediate level and get you started, get you recording and mixing and everything. So it's worth checking out if you're learning Audacity. And then number four is multi-track recording. Now, there is a little workaround where you can record two tracks at once if you have an audio interface with two inputs. And again, I've, I've made a video on how to do that. Uh, if you check the description below. But it'd be great if we had that option uh, natively so that you could set up your four audio tracks, set each one to a different input on your audio interface and record them all. So you can record a band or you can record your guitar and vocals separately on two different tracks natively. Um, pretty much any other free DAW has this function. It'd be great to see it in Audacity too. And number five, auto save. Now, if your Audacity project crashes while you're in the middle of it, it will attempt to recover it, um, but it's kind of just a, a, a rudimentary recovery option. It doesn't have a proper auto save. So being able to do an auto save, ch make, changing it in, in the settings and allowing it to auto save every 10 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever, um, would give you a lot more peace of mind, especially with those big projects. 
And then finally, this is more of a f fun one, I guess. It would just it just really helps with workflow to me. Um, it's being able to set different colors uh, for different tracks or, or different sections of the song like you can do in, in other digital audio workstations. So yeah, just general UI improvements. Again, I want to keep it simple um, and I'm sure most of you do as well, but being able to change some colors, you know, set your drums to red and your guitars to green, vocals to blue or whatever, just so you, if on those big projects at a glance you can easily see where things are. I think that'd be really helpful. So there are loads more things that would be nice to have in Audacity, but I'll leave those to you. Let me know in the description below, what's your number one uh, feature or upgrade that you'd love to see in, in a later Audacity build. And for more Audacity content and mixing and recording tricks and tutorials, I've got new videos coming out every single week. So hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.